can't sleep, eh? This is a Halloween special. So please, sit back, relax, and enjoy yourself as I make my jack-o'-lantern stuffed peppers. Serve beside a classic Halloween punch. These peppers are inspired by Stingy Jack, a man that outsmarted the devil, not once, but twice. started in Ireland, where there lived a mischievous man named Stingy Jack. He was known all around the village for the trouble he caused and for the pranks he played. The devil himself heard of old Jack and had to see the evil for himself. They met at a local saloon for a couple cold pops and when it was time to pay the tab, Jack convinced the devil to turn himself into a coin and promised to set him free after the tab was paid. But Jack, living up to his stingy nature, pocketed the coin beside a silver cross, trapping the devil. Eventually, Jack would free the devil under the promise that he would not seek revenge for one year and that if he should die before then that the devil would not claim his soul. A year later the devil returned to claim his debt but old stingy Jack fooled him once again. He convinced the devil to climb up a tree for an apple. When the devil was high up in the tree, above the chickadees, but right below the skyline, Jack carved a crucifix across the trunk of the tree, trapping the devil once more. Jack freed the devil only after he promised him again that he would not claim a soul once he died. past, and old Jack stuck to his stingy ways. Soon, the heavy drinking and mischief caught up to him, and he passed away, alone, on a cold, dark night. When he reached heaven, in the gates of St. Peter, stingy Jack was denied due to his tricky ways. And the devil, keeping his promise, wouldn't allow Jack into hell either. Instead, the devil gave Jack a burning ember to light his way through eternal darkness. Jack carved out a turnip and placed the ember inside and from that moment on he wandered the earth without a resting place his only guide the flickering light of his makeshift lantern Soon, villagers started to carve their own lanterns out of turnips and later pumpkins, placing them outside their doors to ward off Stingy Jack and other wandering spirits during the harvest season.
Soon, the pumpkins would be known as jack-o'-lanterns, and the season would be called Halloween. And where we sit now is the last place that Stingy Jack was ever seen. Supposedly. <laughs> By my neighbor Comey. Hallow's Eve, 1999. Spooky, eh? <laughs> Halloween is my favorite time of the year. It's an escape from the routine. Costumes, old movies, treats, tradition, some old pillowcases, full of goodies, dumped out, piled up, and then sorted. The darkness outside, alive with crisp air, light fog, and flickering lanterns. One night, you can be yourself and someone else entirely. I hope this Halloween is a special time for you, buddy. One where you can enjoy not only the warmth of an old Halloween memory, but the warmth of the season that's here now. You should go get some sleep, eh? I really appreciate you stopping by. And don't worry about Stingy Jack. I'm pretty sure Comey's around here somewhere, keeping him busy. Take care of yourself, and remember, if you're ever up late, you can always have a couple of buddies up in the cedar swamp that are up late too. Happy Halloween. <laughs>